Welcome to Up Next MMA. Today, we recap the most dominant performances from current UFC flyweight champion, Davison Figueiredo. Alex Perez. At UFC 255 in November of 2020, Davison met Alex Perez in his first UFC flyweight title defense in the main event. Both men started out aggressively by taking the center of the stage and trading kicks to the body. Figueredo continues to move forward throwing kicks to the body and legs. This forces Perez to respond, but he is getting hit with punches when trying to attack. Figueredo moves forward and lands more shots to the body of Perez. He does not seem concerned with Perez's power at all. Perez tries to mix up his striking and dives for single leg takedown attempt, but fails to get Davison down. Figueredo bouncing on one leg tries to get himself free of Perez's grip. Perez goes for a body lock, but still can't get the takedown. So Davison goes on the offensive and tries for a leg sweep to reverse the position and put Perez on his back. Figueredo continues to attack the leg and put Perez in trouble. Alex manages to escape the leg lock and take the back Davison briefly. As they scramble, Figueredo turns his back to Perez and quickly locks up a guillotine choke. It's tight and Perez is forced to tap. Figueredo submits and crushes Perez in the first round to retain his title. Joe Benavidez Part 1 Joe Benavidez and Davison Figueredo met at UFC Fight Night 169 in February of 2020 for the vacant UFC Flyweight Championship. Both men started moving early and switching stances. Benavidez is coming forward with strikes and putting pressure on Figueredo. However, Figueredo catches a kick and takes Joe down. Benavidez immediately scrambles out of the position. Both men scramble and exchange right hands as they get up. Both men continue to trade throughout the first round. Benavidez is staying mobile and throwing a large volume of strikes, while Figueredo is content to let Joe come to him and counter with hard punches. Although Joe is landing and controlling Octogen's space, Figueredo continued to land the more damaging strikes. Joe would continuously get stunned by the punches of Davison throughout the first round. But Joe's activity, movement, and control of space likely won him the first round. The second round saw a dramatic change in momentum. Joe continued to lose steam as he continued to get hit hard while attacking. Just as Joe seemed to gain a bit of ground in the fight, a nasty headbutt connects and hurts Joe badly. Benavidez is now moving backwards and trying to recover. Figueredo lands a murderous right hand and down goes Benavidez. Figueredo lands a few more strikes before referee stops the fight and Davison is awarded the knockout victory. Joe Benavidez Part 2 Joe Benavidez and Davison Figueredo met in a rematch at UFC Fight Night in July 2020. Because Davison missed weight in the first fight, therefore he was ineligible to win the flyweight championship with his knockout over Joe. So the UFC brass thought it would be wise to run the fight back again. Figueredo made his weight this time around and the fight was on for the flyweight title. Both men met in the middle of the octagon with Joe moving like how he did in the first fight. But he immediately gets dropped with a punch from Figueredo. Davison is all over Benavidez. He is on top landing elbow from top position on Joe. He transitions to a rear naked choke but cannot get it after multiple attempts. Benavidez manages to get back to his feet but he is clearly still hurt. He attempts to come forward with strikes but they are incredibly slow. Davison knocks down Joe again but he pops right back up. Joe is getting hurt by all strikes that are connecting cleanly. Joe gets knocked down again and for the third and final time. As Figueredo lands nasty ground and pound, then transitions to a rear naked choke and locks it up. Joe goes to sleep and the referee stops the fight. Davison is your new flyweight champion. Joe Benavidez has been crushed twice. Tim Elliott Davison Figueredo and Tim Elliott met at USC Fight Night in October of 2019 in a pivotal flyweight matchup. This fight would likely determine the next challenger for the flyweight championship. 
Davison goes right after Tim Elliott, moving forward and applying pressure. He lands a hook in the opening seconds. However, Tim Elliott was using his unique and quick style of movement to land shots from awkward angles. Figueredo would drive forward with hard strikes, and Elliott, with his movement, would roll away from the power of Figueredo. This similar exchange happened a few times before Elliott shot for a takedown and landed right into Davison's patented guillotine choke. Figueredo locked it up tight and forced a tap from Elliott. Davison crushed another opponent just three minutes into the first round. Alexandra Pantoja Davison Figueredo met Alexandra Pantoja on the preliminary card of UFC 240 in July of 2019. Davison was coming off his loan loss in the UFC to Jusea Formiga, while Alexandra was riding a three-fight win streak. Both fighters started off quite aggressively with Pantoja's early strategy of applying pressure on Davison by getting in, getting out, and avoiding counters. This proved to be a difficult task. Figueredo was incredibly hard to hit, plus his counters were sharp and powerful. Pantoja is hit with a few hard strikes and he immediately tries to bring the fight to the ground. Figueredo continued to counter strike as his opponent got in range, hitting his opponent coming in. This was the story of the first round. Much of the second round played out like the first. Pantoja was forced to stand with Davison due to his inability to close the distance for a takedown. Alexandra did land a few clean shots, but Figueredo took then without issue. But as the round progressed, Davison's power again revealed itself with a right hand that sent Pantoja crashing to the canvas. Alexandra was able to quickly recover, but was hesitant to move forward for the rest of the round. In the third round, both men slugged out in phone booth fight. Figueredo batted Pantoja with elbows as they fought the clinch. Those elbows were equally effective at the distance as he cracked Pantoja with them repeatedly, opening cuts that bled aggressively. Pantoja is much more aggressive this round knowing that he is likely losing the fight on the scorecards. He is actively chasing Figueredo around the cage and trying to land big strikes. Davison continued to hit his opponent with step-in elbows and other hard strikes as Alexandra moved forward. Pantoja never quit, and he landed several hard punches in the final seconds as Figueredo tired. However, it was not enough as Davison won another unanimous decision victory and Fight of the Night bonus award. Another opponent crushed. What did you think of this list? Are there any dominant performances from Valentina that you think I left off the list? Who do you think can beat Valentina? Let me know in the comments. Are there any dominant performances from Figueredo that you think I left off the list? Who do you think can beat Figueredo? Please remember to smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. It helps me out a ton. Also subscribe and hit the notification bell to get informed every time we drop a new video. I appreciate you guys watching until the end and I'll talk to you guys again soon.